Hey everyone, it's Jakov, and I'm here today with a new video for Total War The Dawn of States, bringing a battle replay between an army fielded by Dale versus an army fielded by the Easterlings. Both armies, however, being of a bit of a elite status, with a bit of mixed in units for a bit of variety. I am playing as the Easterlings in this battle replay, and the computer is playing as the Easterlings. So we just want to put into slow motion, and we'll check out the different units before seeing how the battle goes. So looking at my forces over here, uh, for our general unit, we've got the Rovanian Regents, which are essentially the most powerful unit that the faction can field. A very heavy command unit, absolutely beautiful in their amazing bronze and gold armor, well, the generals in gold. Then, bringing up the back of the line, we've got a support unit of the Lake Town Guards, that's ready to go. In front of them, we've got a unit of the Elite Bardings General Unit, or in this case, this being an Elite Archer Unit. So, these guys are archers that double as heavy swordsmen and archers, so pretty cool unit. Then on the sides of the front line we've got the daily and spear guards. Next to them we've got the Vinland Watchmen which are a pikeman unit and the reason why these guys are here is so that we can kind of show off like what a combined Dalian army would look like with aspects of all the different factions of Dale such as for example the Lake Town elements as well as the elements of what's the name of the place that the Vinland Watchmen come from again. The Dorwinian region, that's it. So yeah, a bit of a combined force of Esgoroth, which is Lake Town, Dorwinian, and Dale. So yeah, the Dalian Spear Guards, like the professional spear infantry of the faction. We've got the Pikemen, we've got a unit of them in the middle. We've got a unit of the Vinland Guard, which is an elite swordsman unit, fielded by the faction. Well, it's fielded by Dale, but it's part of the Dorwinian sub-faction inside of the faction. We've then got a couple of units of Dalian swordsmen, ready to go. And then just bring up the side, flanking it, another unit of Dalian Spear Guards. Then bring up the rear, we've got a unit of Vinland Patrollers to act as an archer unit, alongside the Bardings. And then right in front of them, we've got two units of the Marksmen of Dale, which, yeah, the bow equivalent professional infantry. And then, ah, oh, gotta love that sun haze in the distance. And then bringing up the flank, we've got a unit of the Rangers of Rovania, which are an elite skirmisher unit. Well, they're elite bowmen, but they're kind of guerrilla warfare experts. So yeah, that's the forces that we can field. And of course we've got a Dale Cavalry Regiment at the back, just next to the Ravanian Regents, which are yeah, just mounted professional infantry. Well, mounted professional cavalry. Then, flanking the sides, we've got a couple um, pits and some cow traps to prevent enemy cavalry manoeuvres. And on the other side, we've got rocks and more pits. Now then, looking at the Eastling Army, as you can see, it's quite large, looking at the actual numbers. We had about 1,800 soldiers, and the computer had over 2,500, so we were at a bit of a disadvantage by over 800 soldiers. Looking at the enemy force, it is led by... Who was it again? These guys, the Bane of the Step, which are an elite heavy command unit fielded by the Eastlings, kind of the equivalent of the general fielded by the Dalian forces in this battle. Then, they've got a couple of units of the Locate Room Halberdiers looking absolutely exquisite in their gold armour. So we've got a couple of units of them. Then we've got units of Variag Lancers, the Variags being a sub-faction within their faction. And only a couple of units of these guys being available. We've got units of Spear Guard, which are the Spear Infantry of the faction, so they're professional units. Then up ahead of them, we've got units of Locate Room Macemen which are their tier 3 infantry. So we've got a couple of units of those guys, units of Variag Bowmen, more professional archers, or actually above professional archers, units of Variag Warriors. And then in support, some tier 2 troops, the Runic Warriors, who aren't quite as elite, but are still fairly good, just to give them a bit more numbers and to kind of balance it out a bit. Even so, the balance of power is against the forces of Dale in this battle. Then in the front line, we've got a unit of Locate Room Archers, another unit of Locate Room Archers, and then the Wayne Riders Chief, or Chiefs. Yeah, Wayne Rider Chiefs, that's the name. So these are essentially men riding chariots into battle. Quite terrifying, quite beautiful too, with that lovely, exquisite gold marksman, well, not marksmanship, uh, workmanship. On it. I mean, there's going to be a fair bit of marksmanship the way this battle's going to turn out, but still. That's something for a couple minutes. So yeah, here we have a two armies just ready to clash on this open field. I kind of decided to make this battlefield take place more in the east, kind of like 
Acelings have gathered their forces, the men of Dale have gathered their forces, but the men of Dale haven't decided, have decided, should I say, not to go on the defensive for once, and have instead decided to go on the offensive, entering the eastern regions of Rune. So here we have the forces ready to go, and I'll just skip ahead to when the battle is ready to begin. And here we have it, the unit's getting ready to engage, and the Archer Storm has begun. And the men of Dale begin to rain down death, and here we see the Wayne Rider Chiefs approaching, and let's look at that beauty. Any men go down there? No. Nope. More death raining down from the sky. And we're just having an all-out Archer Barrage, and I just love that. Like heat, heat haze. I was going to say heat stroke, that's something different. But yeah, it just looks amazing. So yeah, the archers are falling back. Just to keep them safe from the cavalry. And yeah, just look at that POV. So yeah, will they crash into their lines or what? Also, again, if any of you guys have battle replays, Please send them in to me, I'd absolutely love to do commentary of them. And crash. And battle is joined. So doing this I feel is a bit of a tactical mistake. Just chucking one unit in to essentially soak up the majority of well, the Dalian army's, like, attention. And as you can see, they're already falling back, having lost almost half their unit. And all they did was kill two Dalian spear guards, so yeah. Not exactly a great strategy there. Now they're just being harassed by the archers. So yeah, we've got a bit of an archery duel taking place right now. And see, so this I wouldn't have done. Retreating isn't a good idea. Bringing their general in this close really isn't a good idea. Because now I can just snipe him to death. But I'm trying to remember whether or not I did so. Because I did record this battle quite a while ago. Looks like a bit of modern art, doesn't it? Now, the general is just to run around the flank for some reason. And doing that's kind of left him, you know, alone. Here we are. Their forces seem to be getting kind of ready to attack. Oh, that was nasty for that horse. And that one too. And here we see more located with macemen going down. Not macemen, archers. Oh no, there's macemen among them? No, no, they are archers. Got confused by this guy for a second. And the generals come back. And yeah, they're just remaining very still. Which isn't a good strategy. Getting ready to advance. Yes, they are. So it's about to begin. I hope. Now, this is kind of stupid keeping your cavalry in the middle. If I had been playing with them, I would have flanked around. However, I planned for that by setting up all the little cow traps.
So yeah, as I said before, just imagine this as the ultimate expression of Dale's armies versus the ultimate expression of the Aisling army. And which side shall win, and which side shall perish. Both sides is going ham at this point. Love those recurve bows. But yeah. By targeting the archers, they kind of made a mistake. They should have hammered the pikemen. Because if they slaughtered the pikemen, there would be a massive gap in the centre of the line. And now they're finally getting ready to deploy their forces. About damn time. And they've sent their units of cavalry around that side, ready to go. And what will they be met with? In they charge, into the stones, and into the cow trot pits. And they make contact with the spearmen, having lost a couple of men. as the other cavalry unit gets ready. Now, these spearmen are not exactly doing the best in the world. Slow it down so we can see this clash that's about to happen. And... BAM! Our general is under attack. The Dale Cavalry Regiment reaches them just in time. And then here comes the Ravanian Regents, and I cannot see my general himself for the life of me. Even with the... Oh no, there he is, with his gold armour getting stuck right in the middle of it. So here we have it, just a cavalry duel. And these guys have already pulled out, given how many men they've lost in that little manoeuvre. And now they're swarming the area with infantry, and a great clash has occurred. Now, while that happens, I'm going to cut straight to the centre so we can get a good look at the action. So there we have it, it's the professionals of both sides duking it out. And then some less so professional warriors. We'll move up and down along the line. Pikemen holding position, just fighting off the spearmen. The Aislings sent their general into the pikes, which is, yeah, not exactly the best idea. And now they've opened to a crossfire of archers shooting right into them. Their pikemen kind of just break through the Vinland Guard, but not really. Just using weight of numbers to just kind of like push through, but that's not really going to work that well for them. And here we've got more swordsmen fighting. All up and down the line, just a big old clash of warriors. And the cavalry is already breaking. And now we're getting a massive sandwich of infantry, and we'll press... Play. And, oh no, the Variag warriors have showed up, as well as the archers, it's just a massive cluster over here. A cluster of what I will not say, and the Dale Cavalry Regiment rides them down, holding them off. The general unit can escape. Join in on the fight. There it goes. There goes the general. Right into the center. And turning back, this is not going to go well for these guys. But cutting away from that, we'll get back to the main line. And here we have it. It's an interesting battle all along. I just love the diversity of unit types we're seeing here.
back out. Their general unit has suffered a lot of damage. The units that broke through have been shot to pieces. The flanking units have returned. But yeah, look at the balance of power. Well, both sides are taking casualties. Actually, fairly equivalent casualties. It seems to be going in favour of Dale. That's because they've wasted their damn general. It's a shame we can't put on the music of the mod, otherwise we get copyright stock, but still. Even without the music, you get a kind of fierce savagery of the battle that really works well. And the unit of Dalian swordsmen there is about to break, which makes sense, given what they're fighting against. But reinforcements on the way, picking off the scattered enemy units. As it stands, these Dalian Spear Guard have done an amazing job just holding the line. Absolutely great. Well, they've been flanked and attacked from just about every side, and they're still going strong. Oh, and there he went. They just lost their general. And yeah, that's kind of signified the end for them, because once he's gone... They're kind of doomed, even if they were able to break the lines in places. And just like that, you're seeing a mass route of the Eastland forces. The archers are going strong, as are some of the other units, but it won't be enough. Especially now that these guys have come out and the cavalry is ready to play. Yeah, it's kind of be kind of a bit of a foregone conclusion. But still, there are pockets of fighting all around the battlefield. Let's see if this. I was going to say that lone warrior survives the battle, but that's not happening. He just got cut down. Gruesome. I love it. And there we have it. A close victory for the men of Dale. So we're going to finish off the replay. And we're going to check out the unit stats and see how each unit did. Now, looking at the overall numbers... Well, both sides took, uh, not equal casualties, not by a long shot, but both sides had more or less the same proportion of troops remaining by the end of it. So, it really could have gone either way had the Eastlings decided to play a little bit tighter. And again, I am playing against the PC, so some sloppiness is to be expected, and you know, not exactly the finest of manoeuvres on both sides, but still. Now, looking at the Men of Dale... General unit, the Ravanian Regents did pretty damn good, getting 195 kills. Dalian Swordsmen did kind of eh, like they both took a lot of damage. The Vinland Guard did really well, getting 174 kills. The Spearmen, even though they didn't get many kills, actually held the line quite well. Lake Town Guard didn't do that much. The Vinland Watchmen didn't do too well. The Vinland Yard Patrollers didn't do great either. This unit of Marksmen of Dale did quite alright. This unit of Marksman that did eh. The Rangers didn't do that great. The Bardings did alright. And the Dale Cavalry Regiment got the most kills at 224. So these guys did pretty alright. But apart from that, the rest didn't do that that great. And then looking at the Aislings, their general only got 15 kills. This Shock Infantry unit, the Varag Warriors, got 124. So we got 150. That's pretty damn good. Their lower tier Axemen, the Rinnick Warriors, did pretty poorly, which you'd expect. The upper tier Loke Rim Maceman did mediocre. I mean, this one got a hundred. This one got 81 kills. I'm saying 181, but no, 81 kills. It's not too bad. The Spearmen didn't do that great. The Halberdiers did poorly. The Archers did poorly. 
and their cavalry did it horrifically. So yeah, the only units that they had that were kind of pulling on their weight was their shock infantry, and apart from that, they didn't do that well. So yeah, there we have it, people, a battle replay between a upper tier Dale army versus an upper tier Eastling army. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I know it might not seem like much, but for such a small channel, it is massively appreciated. Rest assured, more videos, especially more battle replays, will be coming up in the future. And I'm just counting down till the next update is released for Total War The Dawnless Days. So I've got more content to bring to you guys. But up until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is your host, Jakov, signing out.